on Tuesday night, February 4th, Bill Nye, the science guy, will square off in a discussion about evolution against Ken Ham, founder of the Creation Museum in Kentucky. On one level, it is that discussion about the origins of humanity, evolution versus creation, but on a profound level, it's in this corner, weighing in at zero physical pounds, creator of heaven and earth, older than the universe itself, here's Yahweh. And in this corner, weighing in at about 1.3 kilograms, the weight of a human brain, the goddess of wisdom, Sophia. Both Yahweh and Sophia seek to answer the same question. How does this stuff work? How come the sky is blue? Why does thunder clap? Why does anyone care about the Kardashians? Big fundamental question. In terms of public persuasion, the winner will almost certainly be Ken Ham. Because as wonderful as Sophia's scientific knowledge is, it stinks for sound bites. Yes, the goddess of wisdom, Sophia, how did we get here? She has to say, we're not absolutely certain. Yes, Yahweh, how did we get here? I made the world because I wanted to. How did human beings get here? And Sophia says, common universal ancestor billions of years. And we infer glycolysis, mitochondrial. <laughs> Ask Yahweh. How did people get here? I formed them with my divine fingers. It's a neater, simpler story to be sure. The debate will ultimately be about questions. If you want answers, there's only one Yahweh. If you want questions, there's only... Well, actually, there are numerous wisdom traditions depending on the specific knowledge that you're seeking and a culture in which you ask the question and the times in history where those questions are relevant because of its relevant to one system is not really so much so one or another. And certainly the relevant to a given system to a question that will depend on 